Hi guys and welcome back to my Coco Chanel. Now this is a topic that I've been wanting to speak about for a while because it's something that's very personal to me and it is all around chest training. Now this video is specifically for people who have um, a small chest, a hard time developing a chest, a bit of a pigeon chest, or more so it's called pectus carinitum. I don't know if I said that right. And it's kind of the way you get that breastbone that protrudes away from the body rather than sitting flush um, to, to where kind of your shoulders are and the rest of your body. Now let me just put this out there. This is going to be the most beneficial video that you ever watch online for building a solid amount of muscle tissue across the chest area and not feeling self-conscious in yourself anymore. Now if you're like me and always had a bit of an issue with your chest and had that issue of having that protruded chest bone or a bit of a pigeon chest, then I'm sure you've probably heard all the nicknames of the sun. Pigeon chest, flat chest, bony chest, female titty chest, girl tits. Now about a year ago, you'll see here, uh, a video that I came out and did on Facebook because I had this absolute keyboard warrior nailing me about shit about you, when I was doing videos, training videos, you need to have surgery on your chest. You need this, this procedure that you can have now that will help your ridge cage go back to something normal. Normal. I got to the point where I was like, I just don't give a shit anymore. This is me. I take the top off, show people, and this is something I've been so scared about for a long period of time. I hated having my top off because of my chest. I hated going on holidays. I hated being out on the sun because I didn't want to take my top off and show the, the chest area. Now, if you have people like this, or if you, you've experienced people online who are giving you shit about stuff, it's because you are doing something right and you're making them feel like shit because you are going after your goals and doing something about it. And it's making them think, I'm a sad little wimp who sits behind the computer board and types to people on social media because it makes me feel better about myself. Oh my God, look at his chest. You look like you have six year old girl titties. Now this workout that I'm about to take you through isn't going to change your bone structure itself. But what it is going to do is help you train your chest if you have pectus or you've a pigeon chest or you've a genetically small chest. And it's going to help you pack on as much muscle in a short period of time as you can to make your chest look bigger and put as much muscle across that rib cage as you can. So without further ado, let's go and smash some pigeon chest. So here we are just in the change room. I thought I'd go through first. Part of where I've got some missing parts of the chest. So this is all down to genetics and where your attachment points are. We can't change that. But what we may see some people do is a tendency to roll the shoulders. Bring the shoulders over and that will cause like a little pop belly because you just sink in the chest and you're getting that anterior tilt because the pelvis is, is rolling from the hips, which is exactly what we don't want to make it look a lot smaller. You want to expand it open and open the rib cage to make the chest look bigger. And what you will see is where I've got my protruding chest line, like the pigeon chest on one side is a lot worse than the other. This can sometimes happen, but again, it's nothing to worry about too much. It's just like genetically might be weighed up a little bit differently. Of course, if it is too much, you can get surge on it. Again, it's not something that I'd advise. Um, and as I turn to the side again, you don't want to overdo the ab work. It's going to make you look like you've got a little bit of a, a pop belly as well. So not nothing too much weighted stuff. Before we dive into the workout, I'm going to go into the warm up, which firstly we are still starting with shoulder dislocation, which will really help open the shoulders. Track the scapula when you go into your, your pressure moving, so you're nice and loose, and you can get that fuller range of motion through the chest and obviously through the shoulders as well. Next, I like to call this one the, the door stretch. So this is a chest stretch and putting a bit of pressure and ten tension on the chest. It's gonna help stretch the subscapular and rotator and loosen up and stretch the pec minor, which is really gonna help you get that better contraction when you go into the workout and go through the pushing movements. The really, really difficult exercises, so you only really need to do a couple of seconds of it. The first exercise we're going to go into on our pigeon chest correction workout is going to be an incline bench. And this is how I don't want you to do it. You're going through the motions, not really thinking about it, not engaging that mind muscle connection properly. You, again, I'm not really retracting the shoulders. And what I would like you to do instead, as we set up here the correct way, is really open up the chest and imagine that you're not just bringing the dumbbells down, you're almost trying to meet the dumbbells with your, your chest. It's going to depend on your range of motion, your flexibility a little bit but don't overdo it. But try and imagine dragging the dumbbell down, expanding the rib cage up, and kind of embracing the core as you go through it. Second exercise is gonna be a pullover. Let me get things straight first. You're not gonna be able to genetically change your, your rib cage here, but again, you'll see I've gone through the wrong setup. So this is how you don't wanna do it. You wanna drop the hips, pop the head back, pin the shoulders against the bench, help open up your chest, 
get a better stretch and a better squeeze load. Again, people talk about this exercise over the ribcage, trust me, you're not going to alter the structure, although it will help stretch the chest muscle and contract better, again, with the mind muscle connection. Hold time, keep the tight core, tight core. You can do this exercise over and over, but if you don't focus properly, you'll never grow. We need to focus more, as it's going to take more effort to stay made the muscle. Third exercise is going to be dips. Again, we're going the wrong version first, although you see a lot of people dive into it and flop themselves forward. This is only going to make things worse and put the load on your shoulder and take it off your chest. Now what I want you to do is, from the side you can, you can see, see me hitting the lower chest, which is one of the hardest parts to build um, when you've got pectus cranium or small chest genetics. Keeping a more rigid or right position will help target more of the chest without the bad posture, the habits we spoke about before. This is the hardest part of a pigeon chest to target as we don't have a lot of tissue along the lower chest really. Fourth and final exercise is going to be cables. Again, with this one we're just looking to squeeze the chest, roll the shoulders, keep that mind muscle connection. It's helping us squeeze the chest which is more suited to our rib cage structure because we can get a better angle and contract more of the pec rather than doing the, the cable crossovers like you, most, you see most people doing. Now we're back. So I hope that video was super helpful. I hope it gives you some good information that you can take away and apply to your next training. Training? That you can apply to your next chest training session. Hopefully put some muscle across your frame and across the ribcage area. Quick sort of plug coming up for you, hashtag add. If you want to know more about my one-to-one -one coaching, helping developing the chest and helping developing the rest of the body so you can feel more confident while spending less time in the gym and feeling frustrated about your results, then I will leave the link and my email in the description box below. As always, if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it, then please give it a massive thumbs up and a like. And if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. And I will catch you in my next video.